In the last episode, I worked on getting through all of these quests that are in the CC1 or the Welcome to the Sea area. CC1 is kind of like the bonus thing. And you can see here, we've got almost all of it and we would get a reward if we finished it. So I'm gonna try to do this first. The piece we're missing is hostile mobs. And of course we haven't found any hostile mobs. So you have to get a spider eye, a bone and rotten flesh, okay? So I don't know how to do that, fortunately. I guess um, I was watching Chosen Architect and on his first video, he created a small mini mob farm by taking out and going out on his base on a little like uh, extension and uh, which I really want to do and I was gonna use glass, but he did it with leaves and that is a great way to do this. So we're gonna make an extension first and to do that, I wanna get rid of, oh, there's some lag, get rid of this first and we'll put that back a little bit later. We're gonna put a, a barrier down here cause we're gonna break this glass and we're going to, uh, Go out there and see about getting, um, oh no, I don't want to do that. I almost faint mine and you saw everything glow. No, don't do that. <laughs> We're going to make a little area here and, and try to go out. Now, you know, when we go out here, of course, we have swimming problems, right? We have breathing problems and things like that. And we do have right here a potion of water breathing for three minutes. So I think what the plan here is drink this potion, put the border around of this uh, area with leaves so we kind of have a tunnel forming use the wand to go out a space and then cap it off. Okay, so if that's what we're gonna try to do here, let's see if I can do it. There we go, potion is uh, in, we can breathe now. Let's put the barrier here. I'm not worried about drowning right now. And then we should be able to use, do I hear a villager? Sounds weird, okay, anyway, we should be able to do this. I guess it's not doing that as well, It's weird. Okay, so now we'll do all of them. You can see many of these guys are starting to get close to me. They really don't like me out here, um, but we're gonna continue on here. Hopefully we can get a couple more layers made and then we'll just cap it off. My wand disappeared though, so I'm having to do this manually. Okay, let's do one more layer out. Like that. And now I wanna go, I think a little bit higher here. So I'm gonna go over here. That way we can get three block high guys okay and there we go we have a tube now that we can work with uh for this mob farm i have the sponge on a stick i'm gonna give this a shot here and try to see if i can get all the way down to the end where did it go did it seriously it used the entire compressed one that quickly oh that's kind of bad let's use the sponges and let's get rid of all this stuff there we go with all of that done we now have space in here to make our mob farm i'm getting these wet sponges out of the way what i'm going to do is i'm going to put down some blocks here this is dirt Okay, and we're going to then enclose this so that we uh, don't have to hit them. Um, like all here or they can't hit us. We're gonna do this so that we can hit them. So we have a space there and that's awesome. So that'll work out. Now things are not really spawning out there yet, but we need to get them to spawn. So we're going to use some of our money. So I'm gonna take a, get a stack of this right here, which is the coins we've been using, the C bucks. We're going out to the quest information here. And if we go all the way down to the bottom here, there is this useful items. And we're gonna look around on here for useful items. You see here the rotten egg. If we click on that, it says turns dirt into dreadful dirt and it costs 30 coins. So we're going to get that. Um, yes, click to submit, submit. And then we have the rotten egg, but whatever. <laughs> it converts it to that kind of thing, the dirt. And you can see it's already spawning. Okay, and let's get some, um, some loot here. Okay, so I should be able to just to uh, hit them right there. And look at that, we're getting some kills here. It's been a little bit, guys, and I'm gonna tell you, it's been a rough morning you've probably seen from the uh, previous clips of this video. But I was able to finally get all the pieces that we need. The hardest one was getting the spider's eye, and I thought I needed to get a spider, and uh, I don't. I need. I just got this from a witch, so that should be enough here. We're gonna go over to this section here and go to CC1, and that's the last thing we needed, and there we go. So now we have all that. Let's click on this reward. And we're going to, says, allow you to chisel blocks into others. So we get a basically, wow, that's loud in my ear. We get to uh, chisel things. That's pretty cool. Let's grab all those. And so what are those again? We've got a 64 yellow hazard blocks. That's pretty nice. We also have 64 science blocks. And we have a chisel station. And that's pretty cool. It's like a bunch of chiseling. 
now that we've got that done, we're gonna get back to some quests here because what I would like to do is I would like to get through this kind of area here to get some lava and getting into the block breaker because I think this will be useful for making and breaking things with cobblestone and that sort of thing. Uh, one of the things we're going to do first, though, is we're going to need to get this finished. This is required for the other stuff, so we're going to do that right now. We need to make a stone barrel, and if you look at the stone barrel, it just takes smooth stone and that, and we're going to need this. So I've got some smooth stone cooking up here, and this will work out really nicely. we just get some slabs, and I'm going to make at least two of these. There we go. Okay, so we have that part done, and then the last part of this is, um, if you look here, is, let me get that reward is we need to get the flint mesh, and to make a flint mesh, it just takes flint, of course. So we have to get at least four pieces of flint. We have that four string meshes, which we can do, but it takes compressed flint, and that is nice. We need a lot of flint, and we have to get that from gravel. Now, the way you get gravel in this pack is kind of interesting because what you have to do is you take a hammer to smooth stone. So if I have put the smooth stone down here, it's kind of weird, but then you get gravel, and that's an interesting way of doing it. And then you put them in the sieves, which I don't uh, have out right now. I did move them, didn't I? So let's put some them back. Where are they? There's one mesh, two mesh, three mesh, and the sieves. Okay. Oh, so they've cooked apples. They have a little bit better of a response with cooked apples. Let's put this... Uh, I wonder, can we put these in like a corner? That looks kind of cool. And let's put these in here and see about doing this. Does this work? It does. Of course, pieces might fall off the edge, but that that's okay. But that's at least six flint right there. I know we have some more flint in our storage, but let's get this all done here. There we go. That's a piece of compressed flint right there. All right, and then we should have more flint here. We have the five pieces. So what are we making again? We're trying to make uh, the flint mesh. And remember, the flint mesh is just four of these uh, string meshes. So that's pretty easy. We're going to take these back out here. You have to use an open hand to do it. And, of course, it likes to fly around. So let's go find that. Where'd it go? Well, to make... Fl oh, there it is. Flint. To make the flint meshes, which you got to make one more. Wow. Uh, we need to have some vines. And we have some vines here. We need five vines. I just picked the wrong thing. This is the way my day has been going. I, I've been doing the wrong things a lot today. And I don't know why. Of course, we lost that too. So let's make up a shears. Make another gear. These things, I've been making a lot of these so I can get leaves and things. And I've got to know the recipe pretty well. And as long as we have five, we should be good. Ugh, can't even get up now. There we go. All right. We need to get some string. I have a lot of string right over here. Let's get that. Come on. There we go. And we're going to make string mesh. And there's that. And so with that, we should be able to make the flint mesh. Excellent. And that gets that done. Excellent. One of the things I want to have is a renewable water source in here. So I'm going to get rid of this glass block. And I'm going to try to put this barrel that I have right there. That'll block the water. It should be okay. And then we're going to use the flopper. And this water is pushing me all around. I actually want to go out there anyway. We're going to use the flopper, which is a fluid hopper. And we're going to put that into it, and hopefully this will work. Okay, so let's see if I can do this pretty quick here. And not die. I'm going to put this right into it. Like that. And then you can hear it. It's going to town. And let's see if I can swim in here. And get out. Oh, no, no. Oh, can I get up in there? Please get up. There we go. Oh, that was, that was scary. So we're going to climb up here. And you can see this is always filled up with water. So I can now grab this anytime I want with a bucket. Now let's go make a bucket. I have been taking the uh, the the saddles and making leather out of them and I've been getting these iron nuggets and I think we have enough now to basically get some iron ingots like that and I think we can make a bucket. And there it is. That's a bucket that'll work. And now I think I can get a bucket of water and you can see that the, the water there just fills right back up. So that is awesome. I'm just about done running some gravel through the sieve with the flint mesh. And we've got a lot of other resources here, but I was mostly interested in finding this dust because if we take the dust and we can make dust into dust blocks like this, we can put that in water and we should get clay. I can make one more. I'm going to use four pieces of clay here. Now we have our barrel, as you remember, over here. I should be able to just stand right here and go like this and click it off. 
wait for it to fill up, and then we have four clay blocks. Taking that clay, we can then take that and put it here and put it with some dust again, and we make porcelain clay, and that's what I was trying to get, and there we go. And that gets us one of these quests, and now we can start to make the crucible that is unfired. And this is kind of critical for getting into uh, some lava. So the unfired crucible is just the porcelain clay and, of course, the stone barrel, which we made a little bit earlier. So we'll put that in here. And we probably can we make two of these yet. I think we can make one. Might want to make two in a little bit. I think maybe I do want to make two. Let's make some more of this. There we go. And make another one. And why not make two? We had two of the other things. Now we'll put that over here in, uh, I guess I'm going to sleep. That's what happens when you put your bed right next to your furnace. Um, anyway, I'm going to put these in here to fire these up. And now I have two fired crucibles. Looking at heat sources with a blaze lantern is 80x speed. Over lava gives you 50 times, which is kind of nice. 5x for a torch, but 15x over sea lanterns and 100x for uranium. What's interesting about that is that we have these sea lanterns right here. So I'm going to put uh, one right here and one right here. And that should be great for working with that material. Now, we're going to have to work with some cobblestone. And I have some cobblestone right here. So we should be able to put this in here like this. And it should be converting that. And you can see it is converting that into millibuckets of lava. But it takes a lot of it. You saw that was four pieces to make 100. So it's going to take 40 pieces of cobblestone to basically make one bucket of lava. So I'm going to feed this for a while while we wait and hopefully have lava soon. While the lava is cooking up, I'm going to look back here at the quest. I'm going to go through making the clay bucket and making the ceramic bucket out of that. And then we can get the bucket of lava with this, which gets us close to making the block breaker. Here we go, the ceramic bucket. And we now have, it's you, know, you can see it's all cracked and stuff, but we have lava in it. I'm getting that out of my hot bar right away. And we can go on up here and we'll get all the quests. And there we go. So now we're really close to getting to the block breaker. Uh, the cobblestone generator basically says flowing lava when it makes contact with water will will make stone, granite, andesite, and diorite, which we know that. Um, it can make any of those flavors, so that's good. And we'll get that reward. So now the block breaker, useful for automating in a world cobblestone generator. Place the block placer on the block that you want to break. If you have claimed chunks, you must add this to your allies. So that's something we're going to do in just a second. Let's go take a look at the block placer, though, or the block breaker and see what it takes, because this may be expensive, okay? So it takes compressed hammers, we can do that. It takes another fired crucible, I have a spare one, and polished diorite and a hopper. So a lot of this is pretty easy, I think. Um, we're gonna have to see about maybe making those things up. Let me get all the recipe pieces here, and hopefully this will be pretty quick. I think I have what I need for this recipe, let's do this. And there all the pieces are. Must be allied if placed in an FTP chunks protected area. Okay, so we have that there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Now let's see if we can break something. Like if I put a piece of granite down here and I put the block placer there, does it break the block? Okay, it doesn't take power, I don't believe, but I think it does, uh, it's really slow, but it will work. Did it break the block? No, it didn't. I haven't really done anything yet with the FTB chunk, so let's just see what it is. We have that there, okay, it is there. Let's say allies, and it says IF. I'll make IF an ally. And then if this goes all the way down, and so in five seconds, it should break that block, right? It Well, the block disappeared, and it gave me granite. So it gave me the block and didn't make it cobblestone. So this is fantastic. So we could make a basic, like a cobblestone generator uh, right here with this. Let me see if I can do that and see how this works. I think this will work. I'm using a very simple cobblestone generator that you can do in vanilla. I'm going to put in this stair, I'm going to waterlog it, and that looks really good. Now, if we put a lava bucket here, it should spread and then form a block. And let's see, and there it goes. Now, I'm not sure it's going to catch other stuff on fire. It did. Uh, that's not good. Um, so I'll have to fix that for a minute here. I'll probably catch those blocks on fire. We'll have to do something to protect that. But it is working here, and you can see it did make cobblestone. And there it's gone there. Made more cobblestone. It's working, guys. This is basically making cobblestone for us. That is superb. I am very happy this works out. And now that we have this system, I think that because you can see it's doing stone here, but it did granite, or that was us for granite. I think it does other types of stone based on this. Uh, maybe it's only doing stone right now, but, oh, man. Let's go see. I think that you could get, like, for instance, granite. 
I believe it does make granite from other sources, from cobblestone generator. Yeah, it can make it from there, like an 8% chance, maybe. So this will make, the re there's a granite right there. So we see it does work like that. That's excellent. That means also then, if we look in the quest here, let me grab that. Um, to make sand, red sand here, it says, and this is the custom generator, if we can get sand out of this and put it over sandstone, uh, we can get red sand. Um, otherwise, we can get red sand by putting lava in the barrel uh, and putting dust, we get some red sand. So I'm going to try to get four pieces of red sand, I think, next by using this technique. So I'm going to need basically another uh, barrel, a stone barrel, but I've got resources for that. To make the red sand, all I have to do is put lava in here and then put dust in there and it makes red sand. See, just like that. And we have to do this four times to get red sand. And then we have to basically make the sand uh, into normal sand. And we do that a different way here. There we go. So if you put this in water, uh, it will basically wash it out. So I have my hatch open here. I'm just going to throw this out like that. And now we have basically all the sand, four of those pieces, and we can make sandstone. And that's what I wanted to see. Now, if I take out this block here and I put down this sandstone, this should then start to create sand if I put the lava here. Let's make sure that does this. And there we are, we have red sand. And that was really quick there. I think it was just on the timer on this thing. But now it's producing sand of both types, sand and red sand. So we have two different types of cobblestone generators that are working here depending on the block that's below them. But the nice thing is now that we have sand, just like this, I can throw it into the bed. No, <laughs> I can throw it into the, uh, can I throw that in there? What? Oh no, why can't I do that? <laughs> uh, can't you make glass? How do you make glass? Is it a different way to making glass? Glass, um, I thought you could say, oh, you have to have a blast furnace. Interesting, and probably this is going to be really hard then, right? Am I right? Oh, look, we need more crucibles, and we need more compressed cobblestone. You know what, guys? I don't have time for that today, but look at this. We did get to a point that I wanted to get to, which was getting sand. We're getting the resources here, so that is pretty cool. We're getting another one right there. Oh, that's amazing. I really do like this, guys. So anyway, guys, that's all I've got time for today. Uh, I've spent a lot of time working on this, and I've had some other work issues that came up, which kind of limited my time. But, I mean, we got a lot of progress done here, all the way to lava and basically cobblestone generation and sand generation, which we can use to make glass, Glass, which will uh, be great when we start to make the base, right? And start to expand. We need to get some room. Yeah, expand. Hey, guys, if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you would like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications, okay? Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.